So, thank you, and uh, special thanks to the Technical Forum. Ladies and gentlemen, preserve or preserving beauty. Um, during this presentation, we will start with an introduction. Uh, we will talk about rainbow coloring, the laser technology, um, the challenge and idea we had, um, then coating and the technology, PVD, uh, the solution, development, results, and then, of course, the future. So, some of you know me already. My name is uh, Alexander Aminidis for Axis, and I have here great help from uh, Mr. Weidelich from InnoCode. So, rainbow coloring. It's nothing new. You already know rainbow coloring is a thing, and you have seen so many samples of pictures, videos, um, and some of you already use this kind of technology. Um, but rainbow coloring is a structure. It's not that we apply with a laser color directly. So we call it an interference matrix. So it's a special structure we create with the laser, and uh, this structure can be transferred by striking or even laminating, molding to a coin or metal. So how does this kind of structure work? So in the white light that we see here that is created by a lamp or the sun, um, all of the different colors or wavelengths are there in a chaotic manner. And different wavelengths and different colors react completely different to the same material or the same structure. So this structure will then divide the colors from the white light and reflect it in different directions. Here's an illustration um, how this kind of structure works. So on the left side, you see a rainbow coloring effect with a nano laser. On the right side, you see a rainbow color effect with a picosecond laser. The main difference is that with a picosecond laser, we create a so-called ripple structure. So it's a very tiny and fine structure. Um, and because it's, it's a much finer grain compared to the rainbow effect with a nano laser, we get a more brighter and more shiny effect. But of course, it's also very possible to do this kind of effect with a nano laser. So, but this is a very fragile and fine structure. So we had the idea, what happens if we protect this kind of structure? You cannot do that by chromium because it fills up the structure and you would not see any rainbow effect. So we came up with the idea that maybe PVD coating could be a solution. So we did some tests with uh, uh, inner code and um, we had a great success. So we could PVD coat the structure, um, yeah, and uh, because I'm not an expert at PVD, at this stage I will give over to my helper, uh, Roman, and uh, he will tell you about PVD. Thank you, Alexander. So yeah, I will uh, start similar uh, like Alexander and uh, try to give a little bit of an overview about what we are speaking about. Uh, PVD technology, um, its physical vapor deposition is mainly a vacuum-based technology for coating application. It is a comprehensive term for various processes to transfer metals or carbon from a solid target to the substrate. Uh, pure elements or even a mix of different alloys can be deposited. And uh, in addition, we can uh, add reactive gases, for example, oxygen, nitrogen, or even other gases, depending what we want to do. Depending on the PVD technology we are using, um, and also in dependence of the configuration of the PVD coatings, uh, we can have several cathodes, uh, which means that we have also several elements which we can use and several mix of elements. And uh, this gives us a comp the possibility to make very complex functional coatings in dependence of the application we want to serve. So in this case, we want to preserve beauty. So we want to make a coating which is following one by one the relief um, of uh, a, a coining die. So I gave you a little bit of an overview on the right side uh, in the bottom of uh, of the technologies which are available uh, in related in PVD and also in the technologies that we are serving. So we are not only uh, serving sputtering technology, but also ARC. And we are also able to combine PVD technologies with PECVD. So you have here um, a cross cut about uh, this kind of coating where on the bottom layer you have a titanium nitride coating and on top you have here in this case an oxide DLC uh, coating. 
So we added a small video to give you uh, the opportunity to see what means plasma deposition and how does it looks like. And uh, to give you also an overview about our machine and how we are holding the dyes in the system. Um, so what you can here see is a reactive coating uh, in accordance to the color which you, which you can see of the process, uh, different uh, reactive gases are added. So, why PVD technology for this application? The main thing is that uh, PVD coatings, or especially in, in this regards, can follow the relief structure, but we can also change the structure if we want. Um, depending on uh, the design, the relief, and the blank material, we can not only preserve the dye itself, but we can also help to preserve the dye over the production phase. And lifetime can be improved. Uh, beside of this, we also have the advantage with PBD technologies that we are, uh, this is a green environmental uh, technology where we don't have Chrome 6 or any kind of things like this. So here you have um, an example of a dye uh, which we have produced um, together and uh, we would be pleased to present you also some coins on our booths. Um, on the right side, from my point of view, you have um, a die with a laser engraving without any PVD coating. And on the other side, you see uh, the same die with a PVD coating. And what you can see is that we are keeping the beauty of the laser engraving and especially this rainbow effect, which is one of the main benefits uh, which is coming out of this technology. Um, Alexander showed already uh, the differences between uh, the relief done uh, by a pico laser and a nano laser. What you can see here on the left side is uh, this engravement from the pico laser on a very high magnification. And on the right side, you can see uh, this effect after the coating. So what you can see is that we are following the relief quite well which is important to assure that this um, engraving um, is um, preserved and that we can um, bring it to a coin. So I will pass over again to Alexander, so that he will give us some more uh, information about the further developments. So please. So, as you have seen, uh, PVD coating can successfully uh, protect and, uh, the rainbow effect without completely removing it. What we developed was a special parameter to spread a little bit the structure to compensate the minor add-on uh, from the PVD coating. Um, also, we went through the whole development, testing different parameters, testing coatings. We went to the Mint of Poland for striking. Um, so we also learned a lot about the complete process. Um, we uh, used a special PVD coating, and um, also what we learned is that the blanks have a big impact on the effect of the rainbow effect, not only the quality, but it looks differently with uh, different blank materials. And uh, besides the Mint of Poland, I also want to thank the um, Portuguese Mint for helping us in this project. So here are now the results. Um, what you can see here is a circulated blank, so it's not a special prepared um, silver blank for proof. It's just a regular um, circulation blank. Of course, these blanks were washed, and we strike it multiple times with a hydraulic press. In this case, it is the material brass. Here you see the effect uh, on nickel silver, on new silver. It's also striked with an hydraulic press, multiple types, high force, and so on. But what you can see is that the rainbow effect is perfectly transferred from the die to the coin. So what is the next step? We, uh, we made the tests. We found out PVD coating is a suitable um, process for coating and protecting the rainbow color effect. But now in the next step, we have to really find out how much does it improve. Um, here we are very interested uh, in getting feedback from our clients, customer in the industry, and uh, also for, for striking tests, for example. And the focus for this is because it's a beautiful effect, should be efficiency and quality. Um, as uh, Romain already uh, told you, we have some samples here. It's a very technical and difficult topic. Um, so please visit us at our booth T7 and T22 
for any further detailed question and having a look at the sample. Thank you very much for your attention.